Okay, here we are. Welcome to another episode of What's Up with the Walpoles. Um, it's Tuesday, which means it's uh, Taco Tuesdays, and we do uh, our Talk About Tuesday. And today's topic is what you need to know about crypto. And so I don't know anything about crypto, so I brought my friend uh, Sam Kestner, uh, who knows an awful lot about crypto, and he's going to give us a brief overview of what you need to know about crypto. Sure. Yeah, I mean, just briefly, it's really just an opportunity for folks to have the choice to opt out of whatever financial system they were born into. It's kind of a good way to think about it. Um, there are a lot of benefits around the world to having a currency that's separate from the local government. And so cryptocurrency is really the first opportunity where the technology can fully support kind of an idea of a non-state controlled currency. So one thing you told me, Sam, and I don't mean to take you off script a little bit, but one thing you told me was consider it like an investment vehicle, like consider it another way to invest. Is that yeah. right? Is that is that the way you should be, be thinking? Yeah. yeah, so a lot of the crypto projects or cryptocurrencies are just representations of a crypto network. And so a lot of these networks have values in the same way that you know, a Facebook network has values. Um, and so you know, these networks are used, they have users, they have applications built on top of them, and so you know, by looking at kind of the underlying data of these networks, you can see how much it's used and how, how many people, and you can see the growth or the decline of that, and that could inform your investment decisions. So I'm starting to see a lot of advertisements on TV about how to invest in crypto, that this particular app is really good or it's simple. Um, what would you, how would you advise people on how to get involved in investing in crypto? Yeah, it depends on a person's individual tolerance for learning about the space and then your risk profile. So for me, I think the best thing is to learn as much as you can about it and then invest directly into the cryptocurrencies and hold the physical token, not the physical, but hold the actual uh, keys and the tokens yourself. But there are plenty of you know good platforms like US, US based companies that are publicly traded, like Coinbase comes to mind, where you can you know, purchase coins on the platform, keep it on the platform, and similar to how like a TD Ameritrade works with stock shares and things like that. Cool. So that could be a good entry point for a lot of folks. Um, and then the next level definitely would be to hold it yourself and really take full custody of your crypto. Okay. Well, that's a little taste into crypto and what to know about crypto. I think uh, taking some of Sam's advice, if you're interested in crypto, find somebody that knows a lot, an awful lot about it, like my friend Sam, yeah. um, and get them to walk you through it. Anyway, I forgot to mention that we're here at Anamia's in uh, McKinney. Great place for tacos, great place for any kind of Tex-Mex. Anyway, join us again on the next episode of What's Up with the Walpoles. That's it for today. Thanks.